All right, folks, hopefully you've been seeing a lot of great announcements about some of the new features that Adobe released in Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, and Photoshop. And today I want to show you a cool one that just happened to come in real handy for me as I just returned from leading a photo workshop up in the Palouse. And one of the things that I do walking through towns and especially small towns is I'll sometimes photograph subjects through windows. And guess what? When you shoot through a window, there's oftentimes a good chance you're going to get some reflections off the surface of the glass in your image. And sometimes those reflections can be used really artistically. Other times they're not wanted and I want to make the reflections go away. Well, in June 2025, Adobe released uh, a fairly significant update and uh, in one of, the, one of the updates that they released was this AI functionality called Remove Reflections, where it uses AI processing powers to detect and remove reflections on glass, particularly when you're shooting through a window. Now this update came for both Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom Classic, and Adobe Camera Raw. And I'll go ahead and show you what this, uh, what this feature looks like in both Classic and Camera Raw. So let's jump into the system and take a look at an image that I came home with from the Palouse. All right, let's take a look at this new functionality with this image that I just brought back from the Palouse. I was walking through one of the small towns there and there was a building with a business in the bottom that was a, uh, I think it was the local paper, very small paper, but in the front window they had a collection of old typewriters. So I went down and shot a, shot the typewriter because I thought it was kind of neat. And when I got home, I looked at this reflection and thought, you know what, normally this is unusable. Um, there's things you can do, you know, you can change contrast and you can do some other things to help minimize a little bit of the reflection, but still it's there and it doesn't work. Most of the tools I have don't work extremely well. But Adobe has released this wonderful new feature and you'll find it right up here in the remove functionality of uh, Lightroom. And here's your normal remo remove panel that you normally see. We have AI remove, spot remove, and clone stamps. But down below we have this distraction removal section. You can see this here. And underneath it we can remove either people or reflections. All you do is click on this arrow to expand it and you can see the functionality that happens. And to activate this, all you need to do is click this checkbox that says apply. And when that happens, the system will start to uh, analyze and then eventually remove these reflections. And the, the time it takes is really dependent upon the image itself. But you can see in just a couple of seconds, it's removed all of the reflection. To do that, it darkened the image significantly, but that's an easy fix. When I just come back up here to the, to the tools panel and I can just raise my exposure up, raise some shadows up, and I'm done. And I have this great shot of a typewriter that uh, does not look like it was shot through a window. So fantastic, fantastic tool. And even coming back here, right, we can, we can adjust the kind of the severity of the reflection removal, uh, how much or how little we want it removed by moving the slider down here at the bottom. But in this case, I want the majority of this reflection removed because I want to see the typewriter. There may be times where I want a little hint of reflection left in the photograph to help me tell a story that I was shooting through the window. But for this particular photograph, I just want the window reflection gone. So I will move that up to 100%. And if you're using Adobe Lightroom and not Classic, the features and the functions work exactly the same. Now let me show you how this works in Photoshop and most, most specifically it works in uh, Photoshop Camera Raw 
so not necessarily in the Photoshop application itself, but in the Camera Raw application. And there's two ways to get an image into Camera Raw. Number one, you can just double click on a raw file and it will open up in Camera Raw. Or if you're using Lightroom here and you want to go directly from Lightroom into Photoshop, what I can do is say Edit In, Open as a Smart Object in Photoshop. When I do that, the image will open up in Photoshop as a layer, and it's a smart object. And when I double click on that background layer, it opens up Adobe Camera Raw. And what you can see here in Camera Raw, I've got my tools all down the right hand side of the window. And just like in Lightroom, I select the Remove tool and I have distraction, remove distractions, both reflections and people. And the same type of functionality happens. I click the apply box, the system's gonna evaluate it, and it's, it's really the same engine that is working in Lightroom. And you can see I largely get the same results. So if I come back up to my basic tool section, just hit my exposure a little bit, hit my shadows a little bit, and I'm right back and it looks just like what I got in Lightroom. So either way, using either tool, this wonderful reflection removal tool is awesome and it works extremely well. All right, I hope you all like that. It's a wonderful feature. It's easy to use, it's intuitive, and it makes really good results. So definitely find some images, go out and try it. Um, I, th I think you'll be extremely happy with this tool and how it may save photographs that you otherwise might throw away. If you like this video, please feel free to hit the subscribe button, tickle the bell, hit the like button, do all that kind of good stuff. It all helps. So thank you for that. And with that, I'll wish you a happy day and happy shooting. All right. Bye-bye.